Welcome to Bridging Gaps, the business podcast sharing the challenges and stories of fellow business owners. Hello and welcome to Bridging Gaps, the business podcast. This is the first episode of 2021. And I appreciate that there has been a bit of a gap between this and the previous episodes. Like many of you, life has been a little bit complicated over 2020. There have been ups and downs. And I personally found it difficult to to find the time and the space to keep recording my podcast. I'm really excited, though, because I'm looking forward to getting going with it again this year. And I have some ideas about what it's going to look like and what you can expect from it. To begin with, I'm going to start talking more about my own journey. I want to share with you how I am finding my voice and also talk about how people find their own voice. And by voice, I don't mean your own podcast. I mean finding what you stand for, finding what what it is that you represent and where you want to go so that you're taking control of what direction your life takes you. We can't always control that direction, but if you know where you want it to go, it's an awful lot easier to, to actually recognize when you're going off track. It's a lot easier to then go, hang on a second, I'm going off track. Can I get back on track? Or do I need to readjust my destination because of the changes that I'm being you know, put into? COVID-19 being a key example of people who, uh, of impacting people in a way that they've had to react and change direction. So I really want to explore that idea more. I think I'm still on a journey to find my voice and to think about what it is that I really represent and what it is that I want people to think about when they think of me and where I want my future to to go. The Tuesday 1515 webinar series is restarting. The first one is on the 19th of January at, you'll be surprised to hear, 1515. I will be joined by Rebecca Tredgett of Switchfoot Accounting and Sam Gold of Gold HR. And we will be talking about resilience. We'll be talking about what resilience means to us and what we focus on when we use the term resilience. We'll be looking at examples of people who have displayed a lot of resilience, again, in that past year and maybe even before that. And we'll be looking at where resilience can make a huge difference to us. You're welcome to join. Just sign up for the webinar. It's completely free. And you can ask questions and join us in the conversation as much or as little as you would like. I will put a link into the show notes for you. If you're not able to make it, sign up anyway. I will send you a replay and it will also be released on the podcast as an episode in its own right. The plan is to get people joining me hopefully once a month. We'll see how that goes to to talk about other topics that are of interest and relevant to all of us in the world we live in today. And really with a focus on, you know, businesses, small businesses, solopreneurs, whichever words you want to use to describe yourself um, and looking at how we're being impacted and ways to keep us all moving forward and as much as possible, staying positive and continuing to move forward. I'll also be interviewing more business owners. So I haven't done any interviews with them for a little bit. And I'm really excited to be starting this again. I really want to uh, start sharing the the experiences that we've had start sharing how people are coping making sure that everybody's aware that 
the world is not a rosy place, that the business journey is not a smooth one, that no matter how successful people look, they will have had their ups and downs and their challenges. And I like to share that with people. I like for them to talk about how they made it through the challenges that they had to face, how they've made it through or are continuing to work at making it through those challenges. And this has always been relevant, but again, it's even more relevant right now when I know so many people were hit incredibly hard by COVID where clients froze and stopped working with you, where work and opportunities disappeared, especially for those in the hospitality industry. I personally have been fortunate while I officially fall between all of the gaps of pretty much everything you can um, be offered in terms of support. I've been fortunate that my clients have been able to continue. And, and I really do consider myself very lucky that that has been the case because I know that that wasn't the case for so many people. So we'll be looking at, at what you can do to make your business more resilient as well as yourself to cope with the unexpected ups and downs that are sometimes completely out of our control. I'm also planning on doing some episodes which are maybe just with smaller snippets, maybe just a word or two or a briefer conversation with some guests rather than the full conversation that we normally have. And I'll see how that plays out, how it works and, you know, how interesting people find it. So if you've got any thoughts on that, let me know. And something new for this year is I also want to be asking my guests if they have their own podcast, how has that podcast impacted their business? Has it had an impact? Is it helping it to, to grow? Has it helped them to establish their credibility? And how have they managed to keep that podcast going? Because I, as much as everybody else know, how difficult that can be. You only have to look at the past few months where I haven't put an episode out because I just couldn't find a way to fit it in with everything else that was going on. So we'll be talking to people a little bit more about that for those that do have a podcast. So I'm really looking forward to the upcoming year. I'm really looking forward to finding my voice and figuring out where I want things to go as we move forward to helping you to hear stories of other people that hopefully resonate and and inspire you to keep going, to keep moving forward and to know that our lives and our paths aren't a straight line and that there's nothing wrong whatsoever with going around an obstacle. We're changing direction. As long as we do these things with conscious awareness that we're doing it because something has happened, because we've changed our mind, whatever that cause may be, that we are now going in a different direction. So I really want to share as much with you as I can. And I hope that you will join me as we move forward into 2021 with hope in our hearts that the vaccine is getting us back back to a place where we can regain some of that freedom that we had before. And that is me, Deborah Levitt, for today. I will speak to you again soon and just check in the show notes for details on the webinar. And um, also, if you're interested, oh, I almost forgot to mention, I am running a course starting on the 28th of January, six weeks to podcast power. So if you are planning on launching your own podcast and you want to be supported along that journey to make sure that you get all the pieces in place that you need, then join me on that course as well. I will stick a link into the show notes so you could get more information on it. And um, well, and who knows, I may see you there. So take care and all the very best. You've been listening to Deborah Levitt on Bridging Gaps, the business podcast.